Let's talk about the next topic which is parallax method and how can we estimate large distances using this method. So first of all we will try to talk about what is the meaning of parallax. The change in apparent position of an object because of the change in position of observation is called parallax. We will try to understand this statement by an example shown here. We have an object shown in green color over here which is kept in front of a screen which is uh, white in color. On the adjacent sides of the white screen, we have red screen and blue screen. Now, we have two observers, one standing here observing the object and second standing here observing the object. When the first observer sees the object, it appears to him as if the object is in front of the blue screen, as it is very very clear. Now, when the second observer observes the object, it appears to him as if the object is on a red screen. This apparent change of background behind the object simply because the point of observation was changed. This phenomena is called parallax. Now, whenever we have two such observation points, the angle between them is called the parallax angle. So, in this figure, over here, this angle theta will be called the parallax angle. Now, we'll see how we can use this concept of parallax to estimate large distances. So, in this problem, we have two points of observation which are observing an object which is situated at a very large distance. The points of observation are point A and point B and the object is placed at point S. The distance between S and A is small d and the separation between A and B is small b. Our goal is to estimate the length of d. Over here, the parallax angle or the angle between the two points of observation is this angle theta. The first thing that we need to understand here is that the length small d is so much large compared to the length small b that this AB line can be estimated to be an arc of a circle of radius small d. Once we have done this assumption, I can simply say that the angle theta can be defined as arc length upon radius which in this case will simply be b upon small d. Once I have done that, I can rearrange this equation and I can obtain my small d simply as b upon theta. Remember the value of parallax angle must be put in radians because in radians only this equation or this definition of angle is valid. So once I have done that, the value of d can be calculated because measuring small b and measuring theta is very easy. We will discuss an example on this concept in the, in the subsequent section. But first we will talk about different units of angles which are present in physics. So in physics, we have four main units that we use for angles. The first is radians, second is degrees, third is minutes and fourth is seconds. We know that when a circle is complete, it subtends an angle of 360 degrees at its own center. That angle is also equal to 2 pi radians. So from here I can derive my first relationship that 2 pi radians is simply 360 degrees. From here I get 1 radian is simply 180 degrees by pi or 1 degree is simply pi by 180 radians. Now, 1 minute is represented by 1 prime symbol on top and it is defined as 1 60th of a degree. Similarly, 1 second represented by double prime symbol is defined as 1 60th of a minute. Now, these units will be coming in different forms again and again and you will have to apply these conversions to angles. Now we will talk about the problem. Over here we have the moon is observed from two diametrically opposite points A and B on earth. So over here I have my earth and A and B are the two di diametrically opposite points on it. The moon over here is represented by M which is at a very large distance from earth. Now the angle theta subtended at the moon by the two directions of observation is 1 degree 54 minutes. Clearly this angle theta is my parallax angle. Given the diameter of earth to be about 1.276 into 10 raised to power 7 meters, the value of separation between the two points of observation is this much. Compute the distance of the moon from the earth. We are supposed to estimate the value of d. So in the problem, we have been given the value of small b, we have been given the value of angle theta, we have to estimate the value of d. Clearly we can use the formula that we learnt in the last section which is d is equal to b by theta. But we have to put the value of theta in radians. So we have to convert this value of degrees and minutes into radians first. That's exactly what I've done here by applying correct conversions. 
the angle in radians I obtain is 0 0.0105 pi radians. Now everything is given to me, then I'll apply the formula directly. And once I do that, the result that I obtain is 3.86 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters. Scientists many times use this method in order to uh, estimate astronomically long length. So, summarizing what we just learnt, we can say that parallax can be understood as a change in apparent position of an object because of the change in the point of observation. Only because an observer changed its location, the location of the object seems to change. That uh, phenomena is called parallax. The angle subtended at the object of observation due to parallax is called the parallax angle. In our examples, it was the angle theta. Parallax methods are used to calculate very large lengths by the formula d is equal to b by theta, where d is the extremely large length that we are trying to estimate. I hope these ideas are very, very clear to you. Thank you.